Hi everybody, Mitch Peacock, the play-by-play -play voice of the Manitoba Moose on moosehockey.com and TSN 1290, getting you set for the first of two games between the Moose and the Stockton Heat, the American Hockey League affiliate of the Calgary Flames. These games, the first on home ice for the Moose in nearly two weeks' time after four straight games played on the road. After being swept in Grand Rapids, the Moose earned a split in Cleveland over the weekend, winning on Friday night against Lake Erie before falling on Saturday. Friday, the Moose scored once in each of the first two periods before adding a pair in the third en route to a 4-0 victory. Manitoba went 7-for-7 seven seven on the penalty kill, and Connor Hellebuck was the game's first star, making 36 saves for his third shutout of the season. Then to the far circle, Reichel twists back to the slot, Broadhurst, a save by Hellebuck, a second, and the third chance goes wide. Well, going into that set, uh, you know, if we're able to take one out of those two games, we're pretty pleased. We know Lake Erie's a real good team. Uh, obviously, the first night, the uh, differential in the score, we were pleased with. Uh, come out the second game in a back-to-back -back scenario. Uh, we knew Lake Erie wasn't going to be happy. Uh, we understand over the years those games are tough to win in those uh, in those situations, but um, would have liked to be uh, more in the game than we were. Obviously, the score uh, not where we want to go, but um, we would have liked to make sure that we're uh, we're pushing deeper into that game than uh, than being out of it as early as we were. You know, when we won for nothing, we were doing the little things. You know, making sure pucks are out, winning one-on-one -on -one battles. You know, it's being hard to play against. So uh, we'll get that going and hopefully bring a win tonight. The Moose have dropped three in a row at home, but their last victory downtown was a memorable one as they beat the Charlotte Checkers 7-2. Austin Broussard led the way with two goals and an assist. Chris, Blue Chris, thinking wraparound, played it up front. There's a shot. He scores! Manitoba has played Stockton twice this season. Both in Northern California and both games went beyond regulation time. Eric Comrie turned in a gem in one of those losses, making 49 saves in a contest decided by a shootout. Back at home ice, the Moose are looking to turn the tables on the Heat. They're a good team. I mean, uh, everyone's a good team. And uh, this time of year, guys are, you know, playing for playoffs, playing for contracts. So it's a uh, big time of the year. Everybody's watching. So uh, looking to have uh, two good games here coming up. You know, I think we're both uh, fairly similar in style. Uh, it's a pretty physical game. So we're going to have to, you know, play our game, get pucks deep. And, Get in on the four check and win puck battles and try and win it, uh, you know, play a dirty game and try and win it that way. Here's a look at the Central Division story. Manitoba and Iowa battling to avoid eighth place with a great four-team scrap for position at the top of the division. Over in the Pacific, Stockton above 500, but everybody looking up at the Ontario Reign. With injury and illness hitting the big team big time in recent weeks, there have been some Moose players helping out with the Winnipeg Jets. Chase DeLeo played his first NHL game yesterday, following in the footsteps of Josh Morrissey, Julian Malchiori, Scott Kosmachuk, J.C. Lapon, and Nick Patan. Enjoy the game tonight, everyone.